So here we have the original clip and here we have the clip after we've added an orange and teal. Hi everyone, so we all know the orange and teal look. I've made several dark table videos on that as well, but I've recently just learned a new way to do this. So I'm going to show you the best way to create this look. Let's go. Right, and this is the clip that we're going to work with. I'll be sure to put a link in the description down below where you can download this. Now, if we play it, you see that the clip is very dull. There isn't much contrast and we're going to change that. We're going to change it by going to the color tab. So I'm going to select this clip and I'm going to the color tab. And now that we're in the color tab, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I see her face. So I've got a great place to work with. I'm going to zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel button away from me and you see that we have a node davinci works with the nodes and if you want to add an extra node you can hit alt s and that will create a second node and what i usually do is i use the first node to do some minor adjustments and then the second one to add some contrast and then the third one to add the color now right now we see one two and three and i want to name them and you can do so by selecting the first one hitting your right mouse button and then click node label. So we're going to call this BA from basic adjustments. I'm going to call the second one contrast and the third one is going to be color. Now you can make this as great or as big as you want to. You can even add a parallel node right here if you want to address two different areas. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it as simple as this. So with the basic adjustments, what I'm going to do is you've got the color wheels, you've got the color bars and you've got the log wheels. I'm going to change the log wheels a little bit. So let me zoom out. So I've got a good overview. I'm going to add some contrast by dropping the shadows. I'm going to increase the midtones a little bit so that her face is going to stand out as you can see over here. And then I'm going to leave the highlights because we don't have a lot of highlights in this image. You can offset the entire image completely by just moving this one around. And you can undo everything by clicking this little symbol right here. So we're moving on to the second one, which is the contrast one. And the contrast is up here. And you can just drag it to the right or to the left, whatever you like. And in this case, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast there you go not too much because that will definitely ruin the image and now i'm going to the color one and now this is where the magic happens so i'm going to make sure that everything is exposed properly what you need to do is you need to select the qualifier menu and then you've got this pen point and you can move it over and click it on her skin and once you do that nothing is happening except for this node but if you want to see what you've actually done, you can click this symbol and now you see that this is the mask. So we've got some bleeding around the walls and stuff and that's probably because it's got the same tones as the skin tone. But you can address that by changing the softness. So the softness is basically the blurring of the mask. And now the fun part is happening because we are going to invert this mask. And now everything except her skin tone is being selected. And the fun thing about this is if we change it from log wheels to color wheels, we can offset it and we're doing an orange and teal. So we need to drag this into the blues. And now everything except her skin tone is going to get some blue in it. Now let's click this symbol to see how that looks. That looks absolutely amazing. I can show you before and after by clicking this little symbol right here. So here's a before and here's an after. Now, We've only addressed the outside and I want to give her skin tone a little bit color as well. So I'm going to add a second node. So I'm going to hit the right mouse button, I'm going to hit add node. And in this case, I'm going to add a parallel node. And with that parallel node, I'm going to select her skin tone once again, just like we did a minute ago. I'm going to click on this to make sure that I see what we're going to change. I'm going to change the softness a little bit. There you go. That already looks a lot better. And in this case, I'm just going to make the offset because it's a white girl. I'm going to make it a little bit orangey like so that she gets a little bit more color. Now watch what happens. Let's see how this looks. So I'm going to deselect this. So I'm going to click this symbol again. So here we have the original clip. And here we have the clip after we've added an orange and teal. And that's as easy as it is. So basically what you're doing is you're going to select the skin tone 
but you're going to invert it, which means that the skin is being excluded from your initial color grading. And that's where you add the blue. And then a second one is for the colors, uh, for the skin tone colors, in which you add a little bit of orange. And that's it. So if you want to see more of me, please click uh, that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!